YouTube TV is an excellent live TV service, my favorite in fact, but I still hear some of the same complaints from customers when they leave comments on my videos. So today, we're going to talk through them. Let's get started. Number one is the price. Yeah, YouTube TV is expensive, but so are all of the other premium live TV services that have cable networks. And I've done the math, YouTube TV is still cheaper than cable, at least for most people, and that's partly because it doesn't add all the junk fees that cable and satellite companies are known for. Now the complaints I get about YouTube TV's pricing, they typically fall into two categories. First, it's people who don't like the cable bundle. They just want to pay for the cable TV networks that they watch and none of the rest. But unfortunately, that's just not possible with YouTube TV's base plan. Yes, the service has added a way to pay for some networks individually, even without a base plan, but there's a catch with that. This is not for the networks included in the base plan. Instead, these network add-ons are for streaming apps that you can already purchase standalone, things like Showtime, Cinemax, and Stars. And the second complaint about YouTube TV's pricing comes from loyal subscribers. They see new customer offers like two weeks free and $10 off your first three months of service, and then they wonder why they're not getting any price break. Unfortunate but true, and this is the case for most services, they all tend to focus their marketing budget on offers for new customers and focus less on ways to reduce costs for their existing customers. That said, T-Mobile wireless and home internet customers have been able to get $10 off YouTube TV for 12 months and as an existing YouTube TV subscriber, I can confirm this deal works. Now I hear the most complaints about pricing. Second to that though, would be YouTube TV's features. YouTube TV actually has a lot of ways to customize the service, and I'm not sure it gets full credit for that. I think a lot of people coming from traditional cable TV, they've got pretty high expectations. For example, some people wish YouTube TV had channel numbers. It doesn't. YouTube TV's DVR requires the biggest learning curve, so I hear about this more often than any other feature. If you're not familiar, when you add a show to your library, all episodes, new episodes and reruns are gonna be recorded. So that means you can't record or delete a single episode when it's a series. Now YouTube TV's added filters to help you organize your library and also the ability to manually mark a show as watched from your computer or a phone. The live guide also gets some fair criticism with customers telling me over and over again that they want a jump today feature and a way to customize the live guide from a TV set. Now I've shown you the various filters to reorder the guide in the past, but at recording time, you can only create a custom guide from your computer or your phone. Access that from the settings menu and I will drop a link to my tutorial below. YouTube TV has rolled out improvements to its features, but these changes do not happen for all users overnight. The best example of this is the live guide update, and I told you about this one in early 2022. I got the update back in March on my Roku device, but some Apple TV users, myself included, had the old live guide all the way until November. That's a long wait, but I hope by now, everyone has the new live guide. Let's move on to number three, and I wanna talk about the ad breaks. I know I've said it before, but all live TV services have commercials, and that's because they carry broadcast and cable TV networks that have ads. But the complaints about YouTube TV go beyond that. And if you're a subscriber, I know you've seen those screens that say, we'll be right back with the annoying music in the background. Well, those are in place when there is unsold ad inventory. Lately though, I've noticed that screen is not appearing as often. And some of my viewers say the same thing, according to this poll I put up. YouTube TV has also started adding skippable ads just like on regular YouTube. And if you choose to skip the ad, you're gonna see moments of zen, and these are a lot more popular with users compared to that standard we'll be right back screen. Fourth on my list today is the YouTube TV channel lineup. And with more than 100 channels in the base plan, I know you may be wondering, what's there really to complain about? Well, I'm hearing mostly from people who want regional sports networks back. Most of the live TV services do not carry Bally regional sports networks, they were dropped from YouTube TV back in 2020. A competitor, DirecTV Stream, still has those networks, but they're not in the base plan. You're gonna pay more for them, and that may help explain this issue. Regional sports networks are niche and expensive to carry. So I think a lot of people, while not 100% satisfied with YouTube TV's channel lineup, they decide to stay with the service because it has enough of the channels that they end up watching most often. YouTube TV does carry cable channels, but do not expect it to be just like your old cable company. Remember, you're subscribing to a live TV service for the content. So if YouTube TV has the channels that carry the live sports, news, locals, and entertainment that you want, then it may be worth considering 
as long as you can afford it. But if the price is too steep, consider hooking up an antenna and then subscribing to more affordable on-demand services such as Netflix. And that is the way to cut the cord and really save money over time. Thank you for watching.